Oxygen flow is one of the two most important factors in ozone output from an ozone generator. In general, the lower the oxygen flow, the higher the ozone output. In this video, we'll show you how ozone is measured and why, in some cases, you might want to choose a higher oxygen flow rate. There are two different ways to measure the concentration of ozone gas. The first and most common method is micrograms per milliliter, also known as gamma. This unit of measurement tells us the exact concentration as it exits the ozone machine. This is important because it lets us know how much ozone we are being exposed to. Therapies such as ozone insufflations or intravenous ozone require this form of measurement. The oxygen flow rate is necessary information with this form of measurement. As you lower the oxygen flow, the ozone concentration will increase because the oxygen has more time to be exposed to the ozone creation process. As you increase the oxygen flow, the ozone concentration will decrease because the oxygen moves through the process faster, therefore creating less total ozone. When the oxygen has more contact time inside the ozone production cell, more of that oxygen is converted to ozone. So, you get higher ozone outputs with lower flows of oxygen. The second most common form of ozone measurement outside of ozone therapy is ozone by weight. This can be measured in milligrams per hour or grams per hour. Think of ozone gas as a particle. The higher the ozone concentration, the greater the number of particles. As you lower the concentration, you get fewer and fewer particles. This form of measurement is important when making ozonated water and especially when doing ozone saunas because we are trying to maximize the amount of ozone in an enclosed area. Let's say that at 1 8th liter per minute, our ozone generator produces 100 gamma and at one quarter liter per minute, our ozone generator produces 75 gamma. Thinking of gamma as particles, then at 100 gamma, we are producing 100 particles of ozone, and at 75 gamma, we are producing 75 particles of ozone. Why is this important? It's all about the flow rate and particle production. The 75 particles produced at one quarter liter per minute is 25% less than the 100 particles created at 1 eighth but one quarter is a 50% faster flow than one eighth. This means at the one quarter flow rate, those 75 particles are being generated in half the time as the 100 produced at one eighth. So as you continue to run the ozone, you're getting more ozone by weight at the higher flow rate than at the lower rate. To put it simply, you would see that in one minute you get 100 particles at one eighth, but 150 at one quarter. When measuring ozone by weight, the higher flow rate is the fastest way to introduce more ozone into a sauna or ozonated water. If you're concerned about getting as much ozone in these cases as you can, raising your flow rate may be the right answer. Thanks for watching this video. For more information on ozone, you can visit www.promolife.com/ozone. You can also check us out on Facebook and Instagram.